What's up, Internet? We are here with something a little bit different. This is Cassette Beasts. Uh, I was just playing around my Steam Deck a little while ago, and I saw this in the store, saw its, like, little intro promo video, and thought, this looks neat! I kinda gotta play this! <laughs> Plus, it gives me more of an excuse to play my Steam Deck. Although, of course, uh, the audio issues are still here. Apparently, that's gonna be a thing for a while. Uh, as I understand, Valve has acknowledged that this is a common issue, and apparently they're gonna fix it in a patch or something, but the ETA on that is, like, who knows. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna play Cassette Beast, an interesting sort of monster-catching RPG. I'm very excited about this. I guess, like, little cassettes, that's cool. I'm interested in seeing where this game goes, because I do like monster-catching RPGs. Especially, like, the fan-made ones, because they tend to be more interesting than official Pokemon. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. Oh, we get to make a custom character. Okay. Uh. Let's see. I'm very pale, so one sense, right? Hairstyle. What do we got for hairstyles? I want something cool. Uh. <laughs> hair tie? That's not... That's basically what I've got going on. It's, it's more of a top knot, but I kind of got something like that. Let's see. What can we do about this? Cat headband. <laughs> well, I do have a cat right here, so... Sharp fringe, wavy bob, lopsided... Ooh, you get a headband! That's kind of cool. Uh, I think I like that headband one. Let's, let's grab that. Let's see. I'm gonna see if I can make the character from my first game. That's, that's always my go-to when I get a chance. That's about right. Hair accessory color, we gotta go with... Hmm, that's it. Uh, beard. He doesn't really have a beard. Well, I wouldn't mind giving him, like, a, a bit of a... Bit of a, a you know, a goatee like I kind of have, but no. Doesn't look like a grumpy. <laughs> that sounds like me, alright. Uh, visors. Ooh! Let's see. Face accessory color. We can have a visor. <laughs> Let's see. Can we make it obnoxious color? Let's see, there's... How many colors are there? Wow, there's actually quite a lot. There's 18 colors for visors. Okay, I think we gotta go with that. Eye color, you won't be able to tell, but... Let's, uh... Yeah, green's about right. Favorite color? Kinda like that, yeah. Pronouns. It doesn't really matter much to me. And let's see, for a name... Uh... I'm, I'm not used to using the Steam pop-up thing. Where's the backspace? Backspace is X. Okay. And shift is LT. Okay. There we go. And submit is RT. I am not used to using this at all. There we go. Yep, that's good. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that was about, but this game just came out like yesterday. It might be a thing that needs to get a little bit bug fixed. But uh, this is our character. Let's let's go play some cassette beasts. I'm liking the colors in the background already. That's a cool loading screen. Oh my god, we're Link's Awakening. Okay, so we got like a a run feature. Got a jump. Every game needs jumps. Every game is improved with jumps. Tetris. Better with jumps. There's a bit of a weird clipping issue with that, but that's okay. I have played games with significantly bigger issues than that. I kind of like that we're in like a 3D world, but like there's there's 2D pop-up things. It, it feels almost kind of mode 7, but not quite, you know? Ooh, we got a treasure chest over here. Alright, what do we got over here? Why? That's a weird button. Wood! Can be used to exchange for items. Okay. I'm hoping there's not like a heavy crafting system in here. I... Pot, er, uh, uncommon feelings about stuff, but I don't really like crafting systems. I, I feel like they just slow the game down because it's all about just collecting random crap. Just to pad out time. I don't like that so much. Okay, yep, I got a dash. Uh... 
Uh oh. I'm getting attacked. I think the audio might be a tad high. Let's see if I can remember that just speech. Alright, that should be good. Traffic crabs? <laughs> That's adorable. To be fair, to be fair, permit crabs do wear anything as as a shell if it fits. So that's cool. All right, rock on. What's my aesthetic? That's a good question. Uh, out of the two, I think I gotta go with spooky. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we just got ourselves a cassette. For my younger viewers, I might have to explain what a cassette is. So all zero of my younger viewers out there, they were kind of vaguely analogous to an 8-track. And if you don't know what an 8-track is, that was sort of kind of a little bit like a laser disc. And if you don't know what a laser disc is, I don't know how to help you. Because I, I'm not sure you can even utilize the internet without knowledge of laser disc technology. How you're doing that is magic at this point. But, uh, Theory Mode's the Wild Banshee. I like this. I'm worried that the audio is a little too high, so I'm gonna have to turn it off on my TV. So that's unfortunate, but. Interesting. Habitat Unknown, Bio 2, Raise Moss Tape to 5 Stars to unlock more information. So if you level them, you get to know more about them. Bootlegs. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe that's like weird variants of them, like shinies or something. Okay. So we pop that into our cassette player, and uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, that's pretty cool. I, oh, you get to be the monster. Okay, okay. Kind of dig that. All right, let's let's beat up the traffic crab. Oh, I like this UI. <laughs> this is a cool UI. Okay, so let's see. We've got smack. All right, let's smack the traffic crab. When I get to control her as well. Uh, call for help. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Smack. Easy enough, I guess. All right. Sure. Hey, we got some plastic. Nice. I'm Kay, Kay Lee. Nice to meet you. That's a very nice beret. Oh, I'm in my pajamas, are we? Okay. Yeah, let's... Can we change out of that, please? <laughs> I don't take the pajamas. Thinking about it, I actually do know the story of the very first laser disc player in my town because they were such a big deal. Where am I? We're in Harbor Town. Okay, it's it's a weird, sad <laughs> story because they were expensive and you had to custom order them because they were just such a expensive high tech piece of gear. I'm stuck here. Well, that's not good. Why am I stuck here? Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Wonderful. So, for the very first laser disc player, you had to order it from a special one single location of Sears. And when it was ordered, the, the very first one that was ordered in this town, you had to go to the loading dock to recover it because they didn't want to display them in the store because it would be too dangerous, like, for it to be stolen because it was so expensive. So the, the first people who were incredibly wealthy to afford this, they had to go to the, the, the loading dock to get their laser disc player. And unfortunately, it being a loading dock, <laughs> there was a, a delivery truck that backed up on top of it. <laughs> Which is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> so we're stuck and we're not on Earth. Okay. We've been trying to get back for a century. Interesting. But we can hang out here in Harbor Town. This is our new house, I guess. So there are monsters. I think we can establish this. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go see some new neighbors and see what we can do. Oh, we got some clothes from our era. So we're definitely grabbing people from different periods of time here. Okay. Or people have been here for at least a very, very long time. Okay. Sure. 
Okay, so this world we live in. This appears to be the world map. Okay, so currently we've seen maybe... A fourteenth of it or so. Okay, so we got a handbook to review what we've learned in New World. Got it. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, so we can actually change our look. Oh, and I can change my top as well. Okay, cool. Let's see. I'd like a long coat, if I could. Apron, <laughs> vest jacket, poncho, sweater. I'm thinking that. Eh. Trousers, shorts. I don't want to wear shorts ever, thanks. And for pants, we'll probably go with standard black, I think. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Shoe color. What color do we want shoes? Let's make them red. Sure. I'm not sure how I feel about that visor after picking it. I might be able to change that later on. Okay, there's a letterbox inside. We can connect to the internet. No, thank you. Don't really want to connect with anyone right off. Talk to some people. Oh. Hmm. Go play sports with crabs. That'll be a good idea. Hey. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely new here. Can I? Ah, I can jump over fences. This will save us time in the long run, I feel. So let's see what's what's going on around here. I'm curious. Welcome. Ah. Uh, I want a checkup. Let's let's ask for a checkup. Oh, we're in perfect health. Uh, nope, that's good. We're good. Goodbye. All right. I don't trust that that uh, rickety rickety floorboarding. I played enough dizzy to know that will kill you instantly. <laughs> okay, the key is not to think about how it works. Just play music on your your music player, and you'll turn into monsters. Got it. I can work with this. I can't access this door. Is there secrets behind it? I feel like there should be secrets underneath this staircase. <laughs> there are not. I feel... I feel let down by that. <laughs> Alright, so what can we do around here? Can I go in this building? No. Right? What's the dash button? This is the dash button. Don't want to wear it down or you stop. So, yeah, just... just uh, Run until you almost run out of energy, and then stop. Bonjour. All right. I am Clemence. So the Gramophone Cafe. Hmm. Copy and records. Not a place for me, but still. How did you get here? <laughs> Motorbikes. Well, that's... How do you brew coffee? Right. What's on the menu? Okay, Flare Store's HP <laughs> using a pencil. <laughs> That's something you won't understand unless you actually know about cassette tapes. Respool fixes the rewind of broken tape. Interesting. Canned ice latte, basic tape. Records monster forms. So this is like a poke deck or a Pokeball. And it looks like it's sort of a crafting system, sort of just a exchange system. So basically, it's it's effectively a purchasing system with more steps. Not sure how big I am on that. Yeah. Okay, if you don't know where to go, just talk to people. I have played RPGs before. Numerous times, in fact. It's kind of my whole thing. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. For 101 years, this town has stood. Hmm. But the foundations of this place have always stayed the same. Okay. Sorry. There's an elevator here, which means I have really got to... Why do I have so much trouble with menus across all games? <laughs> I always do that. It's like, nope! The, the menu button is exactly the opposite of the one I grabbed. What's your deal? Huh? I have not been to the west side of Harbor Town. Let's try going over there, I guess. Except that it looks like it's blocked off for 
We'll just have to stay on this side of town, apparently. Although, I see a little path over there that I dumped into the water. What's over here? I need to know. I'm an explorer. Is there secrets? I demand secrets. Doesn't appear to be anything out here. That's a bit unfortunate. Because now we got to run all the way back. All right. Well, that's fine. That's okay. We can do that. Okay, okay, okay. What have we got over here? This is a big fancy building. It looks like half a ship that exploded. Join the rangers and complete your train to unlock access to these quests. Okay, so that's a quest board, I guess. Hello, sweetie. Okay, so we gotta go to the outpost in the park to go north. And then we'll be able to join these people, I guess. Hey. How does this work? Hmm. So you can upgrade yourself, which will affect your transformations. That's interesting. Bye. I don't think that'll do us much good right now, though. Hmm. Who else can we talk to around here? What's this? Ah, uh, stickers. Sure what stickers do, but I guess we'll figure it out. So there's always sort of been a, a helpful group of people that have been there to help sort out the peace and stuff. Oh, there used to be weapons and steampunk gear swords. I can't imagine that would actually be good as a weapon, but I do like weapons. Weapons are fun. I believe certain monsters will mature into different forms depending on whether it's day or night. Okay, so there's a day or night cycle, and there's evolutions. We can pick up those two bits of information from that. Okay, cool. So we gotta go north. Can't do anything around here, so presumably we gotta head out of town. There was a locked gate. I'm guessing it's open now, or we're gonna have to try and unlock it. That's where we gotta go. I'm kind of digging this aesthetic. It's it's very hey. new, but also retro, and I kind of dig that. <laughs> Errand? I'm guessing that would be yes. So I'll just say sure and skip the whole roundabout way of well. saying yes. Okay. So check the path. Hmm. I'm betting we're going to fall into a pit, but okay. Let's go open this gate. All right. Ooh, we have a little secret thing down here. Got a bit of a, oh, my lights are going off. That's no good. <laughs> I don't want to turn them on though. Uh, when the other one goes off, I'll, I'll turn them both on. Did she just fly? Do you have a glider? I want a glider. No, you have butterfly wings. I'm jealous. All right, let's go fight as a monster. <laughs> a moody floating sheet. Okay, that tells me that that was a bespoke line written for my choice earlier. That shows effort. I respect that. Okay, spring heal. It's gonna get aggressive when we get close, and we're gonna have to get close. Okay, so let's just walk up and pick a fight with this thing. That looks vaguely like something common writer thought. Or maybe Ultraman, one of the two. Alright, so let's pick a fight. Pay attention to orange squares. Those are your action points of AP. They're up in the corner. Uh, most moves spend AP. The amount and cost shown next to name. If you don't have the AP, you won't be able to use this turn. Each partner gets two each turn and an extra one if they land a type advantage attack. So in theory, you could build up your AP just by attacking weaknesses. Interesting. So we can't use this because it would require 3 AP, but smack requires 0, let's hit him. And then you can call for help, so I want to see what that move does, I didn't get a chance last time. Okay, so the green bar is your health, obviously. And the tape will break if you lose all your health, so don't break your tapes, but you can repair them. 
Ooh. Okay, so any extra damage from the attack that broke a, a tape will apply to your health. Interesting. So basically, every monster has a separate health bar, but you yourself have a health bar on top of that. Okay. Nice. And that would... Uh, I Presumably, that would affect swapping to another monster because it would only have as much as you potentially do. I'm guessing. Now use battering ram, let's do it. And spit, because that sounds gross. Ah, accuracy down, useful. And the battle was won. All right. So. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Okay, we won that fight. The elevator should be functioning, but there's a switch. Presumably it's over this way because we had to interact with that guy. Ahaha! Playing with perspective. I like it. Alright, Kaylee is now my partner. Rock and roll. Serenades are particularly loud creatures, can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone tails and wings. It's a cool design. I'm seeing that about this game. Character designs were worked hard on. They don't seem to have much awareness into whether their singing is too loud for those around them. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay, we, we've seen a, a smaller chunk of this world. I'm still not sure why you get butterfly wings to fly around like that. I feel like you're cheating a little bit. I don't get them, as far as I know. Hey. Is that a chicken? I want to fight the chicken. I want to fight the chicken. <laughs> okay, so bonfires like Dark Souls, I guess. Oh, well, that's cool. Okay, so resting uses resources, so we don't necessarily want to do that can't just spam heals like a Pokemon Center. That's interesting. That is a limited resource to work around, I guess. Okay, so down there. Yeah, I know that's the... I don't get to do that. I want to do that. <laughs> Give me the glidey wings. I actually don't like gliding in games. I, like, I, I feel like it's a poor man's flight system. Okay, let's talk to you. Ooh, got a pencil to fully rewind tape. In fact, I got three of them. Cool. Cool, cool. I don't know what you are, but I want to fight you. There must be a way to get over there. Okay, don't care though. Want to fight the thing. Oh, that's a snake! He looks like a jolly fellow. Let's smack him. And call for help. That seems like a good opening gambit. Alright. We are doing stuff. Uh, smack. Carnet Viper. Okay, so we're poisoned right now. That's not good. I assume... If that's... Requires X number of turns to heal that is perfectly fine once you leave combat, though. Okay, raises user's melee attack. Okay, we got some other stuff. Cool. Okay, okay. We are currently kind of hurt, though. Might be wise to go back for that heal. As much as I don't want to waste the resources, especially this early, it seems like it would be the prudent thing to do. Okay, so, oh, we get a little bit of lore here. So we learn about her various adventures helping people in Harbor Town, but that's about it. All right, cool, 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 cool. Oh, and because we sat here, it actually passes the time. So that's a way to at least artificially change the time. Okay. Also, I'm seeing a little whirlwind thing there. I'm guessing that's a puzzle thing for later. Uh, okay, so we got kind of a dead end right there. No way across from here. 
They desperately want me to go up there, but I kind of want to see what I can do around here if I can. Ah, two on two. Now we're getting serious. Okay. Sharpen. Let's raise attack and call for help. That seems like the sensible thing for us to do right now. Okay, we're not currently poisoned. That's a plus. Okay. I have enough to do a battering ram. Let's go after Carnaviper because... I just got the name because it's wearing a Carnival mask. <laughs> I thought because Carnivore. No. <laughs> That's an even better name now than I thought it was a second ago. Now I'm poisoned. That's a problem. Uh, but you're dead. So that's good. Unfortunately, I'm taking damage and I'm poisoned. But we do have a friend now. And the friends do seem to be... You're playing with Legos. Okay, so you've got a plastic wall and that absorbs certain attacks. Hmm. Okay. And presumably if you step on it, it'll hurt like hell. I'm just assuming, though. Okay, we are in not so great shape. I don't really want to go back to heal up again, but I'm starting to think that might be what we have to do. Alright, so we got some plastic. Basic recycle resource can be exchanged for things. Got it. Uh, I assume we have to interact with this. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So now we get to catch a monster now. So we attracted him by turning on the lamp because it's a moth. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All you gotta worry about is that it works. Got it. Dominoth. I like that name. Okay. Cord monster forms with normal efficiency rate. Use on... Let's go. Now the question is, does health play a, a, a part in this? Ow. Oh, and because I'm not a monster currently, I that's actually going to hurt me directly. That is interesting. You have to put yourself in active danger in order to catch monsters. That's an interesting risk-reward system. I kind of like that. Okay, Dominos see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling skies of woodland areas. The only thing that distract them are lights. <laughs> Alright, well, they are moths, so fair enough. Whether a recording session or not is successful is, down, is not down to chance. However, several factors affect the probability. How much health they have. Okay, so do more damage, more chance to catch. Got it? It's level and rarity. Okay, so we're, we're including level in this as well. How much damage you dealt while it's recording. Okay, so you effectively by... I, I think what this means is effectively by hitting an opponent while you're trying to catch it, you kind of throw them off their game so they're, they're easier to catch. And how much damage the person has recording took. Hmm. That's especially interesting because you have to put yourself in active danger to record. That's that's a very interesting system. Okay, buffing your attacks or debuffing the target's defenses can be an effective way to increase damage and improve the odds in your favor. As long as monsters can record it, it cannot flee. Uh, you don't need to worry about knocking it out. Oh! Okay. So basically, if you're trying to record something, wail on it. <laughs> okay. I, I kind of like that. I've always disliked the monsters that run from Pokemon games. Okay, so the moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by the stickers you attach to the tape. So that's what stickers are. They're your attacks. Got it. You can give new moves to a tape by applying stickers from the inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put in your inventory. So effectively, your monster's like move sets are entirely modular. And you can effectively, like, take them off and keep them. That's... I like that. That's actually really quite cool. That's that's very player-friendly. 
Uh, stickers can be used as many times as you want, and can only but can only be applied to a single tape at a time. Stickers can be obtained a few ways by filling a tape's experience points. So, like, if, as you level up a monster, they get new moves. But then you could take those moves and transplant them to a different monster to make them stronger or cover a defensive weakness or something. I like that a lot, actually. That's actually really cool. Uh, from chests and caches you find, and from certain merchants. Okay. Cool! Now try switching to the tape you just recorded. Alrighty, let's do it. Ah, oh, you can only carry four plus the one you're currently transformed into. Interesting. So there might be a lot more Sophie's Choice in this game for me because I really like these monster designs and I want to have a team of awesome things. <laughs> okay, so if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee. Nice. So finish off the bug. Interesting though, because it doesn't remove the enemy from the fight. It just effectively makes a copy of it. That's interesting. Let's use Sonic Boom. We've got access to this move. Let's use it. Alright. This is interesting. Ooh. So I'm guessing monsters have environmental skills. I'm down with that. Don't panic! Hey! I got my moth wings now. You now glide distances. Sweet! Sorry. Alright, now we can cross that little gap. Alright, cool. I assume I... How do I? It says X. But I'm using a... Oh, it's just hold down jump. Okay. That's B on my controller. <laughs> so telling me X isn't terribly helpful. Yes, I could go that way. I want up there, though. I get it. Hand holdy tutorial. Fine. I'm turning this on to presumably fix things. Or just give us an updraft. Can I climb this? I feel like I should be able to climb that. Uh, since we've taken some damage, we might go back to heal. Again. Oh, it's the chicken thing. I don't think it's a chicken now. I think it's a dog or something. Oh, it's a cute little doggle. I like doggles. Okay. Palm bomb. <laughs> this is a explosive pomeranium, presumably. All right. Uh, let's start by attacking the spring heal. I don't want to call for help because I kind of want to capture the doggle. Because it's a doggle. But oh, we missed. Okay, we're taking some damage. That's not fantastic. We can Sonic Boom this guy, which hopefully will take him out. Okay, okay. We're doing some damage. We're doing okay. Alright. Now, let's, let's try item. Basic tape. Use on the Palm Bomb. And you... We can actually use Sonic Boom on you as well, so let's do it. Because that should throw you off and make it easier for you to catch. I'm thinking. And your attack is down. Okay, extinguished. Air type attacks blow out fire targets. So basically, wind is good against fire. Got it. I got the cute little Pomeranian explosive. Bomb bombs are universally considered to be one of the friendliest creatures in New World. If it isn't for their habits of trying to accidentally setting anything and everything on fire, <laughs> they would make for quite good pets. <laughs> that might make things a little difficult. Uh, let's see. A few stickers. Dog ears. Extends the duration of target status effects. Interesting. So you can make this guy a pretty powerful debuffer with that. Oh. Hits one target, lowers evasion, and spits. Okay. Alright, let's let's uh put this dog down. And I will Sonic Boom and that should finish you off and we'll heal up. Okay. 
Okay. So we got a new move, Wallop. Hits one target. And you got In Flame. Hits one target. But uh, that's a neutral attack. That looks like a fire attack. Okay. Okay. And by leveling them up, we could peel off those stickers and apply them to a different character. I think I'm starting to get this. Okay, let's rest. And, uh... Oh, she's from Ireland. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's go out at night and see if we can find some new monsters or just make advances in the plot. So I can be off the rails a little bit. Alright. Now, I kind of wonder how much the monster ability thing is actually going to come into play. Like, it's cool we've got these wings now, but, like, I'm just trying to run on that banister. That's all I want to do. <laughs> I like to balance on the banisters in games. Um, but, like, is that purely going to be a thing as dictated by special plot enemies, or is that, like, a, an every enemy thing? Because we didn't seem to get anything from, you know, the, the pom bomb that we just caught. It's interesting to me, and I'm curious to see what we can do with this. Can I jump and knock this down? No, I probably need some kind of weighted attack to destroy that. So I guess we probably need to go this way. Uh-oh. Huh? Gotta be careful. Got the cracked area. Is the ground gonna explode underneath it? I feel like it's gonna explode underneath us. Almost. Almost underneath us. Intriguing. What? This isn't normal? I don't know what this world is. Don't ask me this nonsense. Okay. Investigate the strange structure. It looks like a dungeon. Let's go find out. Palangolin? Is there a paladin pangolin in this game? I might need that. I'm just saying. Thanks, loading screen. <laughs> okay, so it's a train station. Interesting. Hmm. Alright. I gotta admit, the last train station I was in had weird, creepy mutants in it. So I'm a little nervous. Nice physics thing there. Ooh, what do we got here? We have Ricochet. This user's at range attack have a 50% chance of ignoring walls. Hmm. You can get around defensive options with that. Interesting. I, I do like when I see interesting attack options available to you. Like, um, about six months ago or so, there was that, what is it, Outbound Ghost, which was only around for a little while because I think the dev had a meltdown or something. That had some weirdly imbalanced stuff very early on, but I remember thinking that it was really fun to play with, and, and it was interesting to see what would happen, because early on you got such broken abilities, what you get later on. I, I do like seeing an interesting skill set available to the player. Oh. Okay. Intriguing. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm all about that style. That is awesome. Well, that's spooky. And glitchy. We need to leave. Got it. I'm gonna fight. <laughs> no. Oh no. This might be bad. I'm just saying. Also, it's really freaky now. Okay. 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 Well, I'll just turn on the music a little bit. I'm hoping that the microphone doesn't pick it up too much, but. This is kind of a bop. I might have to get the soundtrack to this game too, because it's pretty good from what little I've been able to hear of it. It's a little bit tuned loudly, but... 
battery ram. Uh, let's call for more help. Status blocked. Okay, that's not good. Also, you're level 100. That's also probably a problem. Um, can I flee? <laughs> okay, unlike monsters that spend AP, Archangels accumulate AP until it reaches 10. Once an Archangel reaches 10 AP, it unleashes all that power at once. Uh-oh. <laughs> Survive. Use your move strategically to either set up a solid defense and prep or defeat before it... Well, you've got 100 health. I can't get away. That's a problem. Uh, dodge, I guess. Because I ain't taking down a level 100 monster. I can only assume that this is a plot thing. Okay. What we got here? Because... Interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, now there's fusion involved. This is getting really complex really quickly. Uh, when your goals are aligned with those of your companion, you can fuse to become a singular, more powerful beast. The closer you are to your companion, the more powerful you are as a fusion. So, presumably, there's kind of like a... a social link affiliation system involved here and and the higher you know associated you are with the teammates the better you become in a fight interesting okay as a fusion you gain four ap instead two Ooh, okay allowing you to make use of the more powerful moves sooner however presumably as one creature you won't be able to attack twice so there's there's actual strategic drawbacks as well but you have access to all the moves of both tapes so that's actually pretty cool Okay, um, I guess we'll use Sonic Boom and see what happens. It does look like it has very little health, but counterpoint, it does have a hell of a lot of levels on us. Uh, I don't know how effective dodge will be, so let's, let's take a swing at it and see what happens. Okay, I don't think I can actually die here. I don't think they want me to die here. I think it's just a matter of I guess we'll find out in a sec. Maybe I just got lucky. Yeah, no, it's it's not gonna let me die right now It's just a tutorial of Look at the cool freaky things you can fight and be a cooler freakier thing I'm all about that by the way Okay, interesting all right, so Banshee got Bite, hits one target, heals the user. Ah, so it's a vampire type of move. I love those kind of moves. Uh, provoke, and that's an uncommon move. Friends bonus from directly targeting the user's allies for three turns. That is actually pretty good right there. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh... Well, somehow we did it. Hey, and we got stamina increase, and we can now glide for a little bit extra time. Presumably, this is what, like, the, the personal trainer stuff is all about, too. Okay. I want to go home. <laughs> there is a way, but none who know the path but I. I require a vessel, and you require a guide. Build strength, and turn I shall lead you from this... Okay, so you're gonna possess me, and I'm gonna wander around making you stronger. This is a soul nomad plot point, is it? Okay. Interesting. This game is throwing a lot of concepts real quick at you. Okay. Interesting. Counterpoint, there's more to that area to explore. I want to see what that area just off screen was. Uh, so what was that thing? Archangel. Please start explaining anything about this world, please. Okay. When people learned that they could fight and defeat regular monsters, they lost their angelic allure. Well... Hmm. So 
basically they were like super monsters. Got it. I know what movies are. I just don't watch many of them. Okay. So, it seems like people are drawn from parallel dimensions and, and different worlds that are kind of vaguely similar but not entirely the same. Okay, so tell me about this fusion <laughs> thing. It's a rare phenomenon known as there are fused monsters in the wild. Ooh, okay, cool. And supposedly the leader of the rangers can do it too. In the right circumstances, two people can form and able to unite into one powerful being. Like how he turned into that weird freaky sheep amplifier thing. Okay. Well. We figured it out. Sorry. Hey, it helped us defeat that thing that might have now absorbed me or something. Alright, cool. So we can use that again, probably. So that lady knows how to get us out of here, but she kind of wants me to power her up to do it. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Alright, and we got relationship level one. Fusion is now available when partnered with Kaylee. Fusions you form have a 5% added strength, so presumably you're going to get other buffs and bonuses when you build up your relationship levels as well. Okay. Building relationships with your friend is really important. The strength is directly affects how strong you are when fused together. You can get close to someone by completing quests and battling alongside them. When the time is right, you can take a break to level up your relationship. So basically, work together, do stuff, and when you hang out together, in, like, outside of the context of a combat situation, or wandering around, you might increase your affinity. Got it. Okay. We need to go fight another one of those monsters. Okie doke. Okay, locate Archangels to complete Morganate's song, and then follow the clues to contain and... Or, it contains to fall the way home. I don't know why I have trouble reading when I stream. <laughs> I guess it's because my brain's working on like five different levels here, and I can do none of them competently. Rangers have a training program spelled with two M's and an E, but okay. Uh, that will help you become strong enough. Let's begin by me at the Ranger Leader. She'll be at the outpost right about now. Okay, so that's where we gotta go. Alright. I assume it's gonna heal me through plot stuff. I mean, I assume. Party. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I want to buy some more cassettes oh, no. if I can. Uh, I will buy two for all the plastic in the world. And now that we have this... Hey! Oh no, it's Angry Guy and his awesome, awesome jacket. Alright. And these guys are pale, so they're goths. <clears throat> it's the war of the stylish versus the goths, I guess. <laughs> Eugene. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a great hero name, but uh, you seem decent enough. You certainly have style points. Hey, the name's Eugene. You did. You did yell it. So who are those people and why are they goth? <laughs> they don't belong here. You really feel that strongly against goths, huh? Some look like mo some look like goths, I guess. Alright. Uh can I help? Hmm. Alright, so we got two quests available to us. Okay. So, map. It looks like... That's 
that's where the station is. That's where we need to go for that one specific thing. Okay. I was expecting to see a second thing on the map, but I'm not seeing that. What's your deal? Hey. Sure. Thanks. I don't know. Ah, uh, 300 wood. I don't think I have enough. Okay. No, we don't. If we get 300 wood, we'll come back and help that guy, though. Because it's the right thing to do. I want to pick a fight with the crab. Alright. I kind of want to catch the spring heel. I'm not going to lie, but I think we can probably get a stronger one. So, let's, let's just punch these guys in their stupid face. Let's call for help, because more help is always a plus. I'm seeing a little fusion ticker in the corner. Presumably when that's full on up, you can fuse. I assume. Uh, I want to change my ability. I think battering ram will work better. And you, you can use call for help again. Because no one came to help us. Or you flinched. One of those two things happened. Okay, you're dead. Traffic crab. I like that his eyes is basically a stop sign. That's cute. Okay. Battering ram. And you... That's no point in calling for help. Just sonic boom. I missed! How dare you! Traffic jam. Speed down. Ah, that makes sense, okay. Well, it doesn't matter if you move faster, as long as you don't put up a freaking wall. And you're done. We got a little bit of experience. And we got some plastic, so that's good. Hey, this guy's new. What's your deal? Hmm. Okay. Ooh, interesting. You need different resources than the regular places. Okay. Well, I don't feel the need to trade anything right now, traveling merchant, but I will see you later, I guess. Oh, can I fly up if I glide from here? Yeah, I kind of can. Alright, cool. I mean, it didn't exactly work the way I'd planned it, but I can just go up here. It's fine. Okay. I wanted to go see that thing because I think there might have been a small path we missed in that train station area. Also, I'm curious if we can go into that pipe. I, I feel like we should be able to. So maybe we'll try and do that next because I want to explore, damn it. That's how I roll. Okay, so is there anything else in here that we missed? Because it kind of looked like there was something off to this side we didn't get a chance to see. Yeah, there's like this little area, but there's nothing in it. Okay. Can we jump on the tracks and see if there's anything in these little caves? Or tunnels? Uh, okay, did we just Pac-Man ourselves? I think we did. Oh. Uh, Okay, well, there's one quick way to tell. Is there an open chest right here? Yes, there is. Okay. So you go through one side, you come back the other way. Conversely, that might be the start of a quick travel system. Who knows? One node does not a quick travel system make. We'll have to find out more as we play. Okay. Let us go north, because I don't think they're going to tell us not to go places now, and I want to go see what's across this gap. Which seems to be the way the game wants us to go, so let's do it. Alright. Well, I got a person down here. What's your deal? Okay, rangers leave supplies and red caches. Hmm. 
And we just got a respool. Fixes and rewinds the broken tape. Interesting. Thank you. And we just got spit, wood, wheat, and pulp. So we're on our way to building paper and bread. I guess. Whee! Okay. Gotta admit, I'm, I'm liking this game so far. I'm interested in seeing where it goes. Uh-oh, a thing's happened. Oh, that's spooky. Okay. Not normally bold enough to venture close to the outpost. Why don't you get there and... Help. Are we gonna watch someone else fight? I see. I see there's a giant gear Godzilla. Interesting. Also, I'm guessing that's the evolution of the, the snake guy. Hmm. Okay, so gear Godzillas are in play, I guess. Interesting. What was that? Okay, so there's just fast travels. Sure. Welcome to the park. Please exercise appropriate caution while well, there's monsters here. Okay. Can I... I mean, I didn't want to jump in the water. I wanted to jump across the water, but... Getting this chest was what I wanted anyway. I do not appear to be able to interact with it, however. What's this crate? Ha ha ha! The crate was on a button all along. We got Acorn Mortar. Hits one foe for 100 damage, 75% accuracy. Some wheat and plastic. Okay. All right. Uh. What's your deal? Yes. Uh-oh. So the Goths are the evil trainers. I see. It makes perfect sense. That sounds like goths for you. Okay, Kaylee's taking a bit of damage and she's not in the best situation. If we could heal up and get to a save point, that would be great. Battering Ram should take care of this guy though. Although he might have another monster in his little menagerie. That tape is busted, that's not good. Okay, fortunately I can swap out. Ah, okay. You be the doggle then. And you use... Uh... Inflame, I guess, is our best option right now. Alright, now we have to... I was going to say we have to decrease his health, but I guess not. Alright. Zoomies! It's when target takes priority over other moves. Basically, quick attack. Got it. Taunt. Forcing it only to use damage moves for the next two turns. That could be useful, potentially. So, Goths. They're the evil trainers. Fair enough. I need to fix a tape. So we'll just re-spool, I guess. There we go. Lots of snake guys around here. Not seeing anything else right off. Right. Alright, let's fight some other people. Okay, so we got two Carna Vipers. They're level 9. Well, we should be able to take these guys. Uh, let's just start with a basic smack. I think the best plan we can do is focus on one target for now and just wear one down and then go after the other. Because I think spreading out damage is really just going to take longer and will take more damage as it becomes a battle of attrition. Whereas if you focus on one target, you will effectively take less damage in the long run, at least in theory. Okay, so we're, we're building up some fusion. 
down there in the corner. We're poisoned. That's bad. Okay, well, that's one target down. It looks like you're out of tunes, so you're done. Okay, okay, okay. Battering ram for you. You rewind your health. That sounds like a plan. And I guess that'll just save us all from, from failure. Thank you, Carnaviper. You did a good thing today. Okay. Where's the other guy? <laughs> excuse your brass friend. No, I will not excuse your brash friend. You could have actively prevented him from attacking us. You did nothing. You are equally culpable. Oh crap, we're in a fight. Okay, what do we got to work with? Uh... Looks like two level eights. We should be okay, but still. Let's wear him down. Let's see what we can do about this. Carna Viper just barely surviving. We swapped the battering ram. You can... Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Oh, well, I guess we're doing that. And unfortunately, this means we're going to take an extra turn of damage I didn't want to do. All right, characters with intercepting attacks will have all attacks directed at their allies. Okay. Sure. Just smack you. And I uh, want you to Sonic Boom. Oh, that hits both. That's actually really powerful, then. I should make you the main attacker, if that's the case. Although you're now going to break your tape. Crap. Okay, 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 this is fine. And we will use Battery Run to take you out, and if we need it, we will use... Actually, for the sake of it, we'll use Zoomies. Because Zoomies... <laughs> it's a fun name. Alright. We won! Fortunately, we have a busted tape. That's not good. Sacrifice 20% of HP to create a wall that will absorb three hits for three turns. That is Mimic. Or Mimic. That is, um... What is it? Crap. I've played Pokemon before. That's, that's the one where you leave a little Pokemon doll that eats up attacks and stuff for a couple turns. It's a good move. Okay, level 8 spring heal it looks like. Okay. I might try and catch you, actually. Let's do it. I want to olive up. Strange olive flavored soft drink instantly levels up a turn. Oh, okay. I don't feel the need to do that right now, but it's good to know I've got that. I want you to... It's all 60 damage. Doesn't look like we have anything that'll do more. This is Cassette Beasts. It came out on Steam a couple days ago. It's uh, an interesting Pokemon style type thing with some weird horror nonsense it looks like a little bit. Spring Heels get their kicks by hiding behind corners under the cover of night before leaping out to surprise their victims. It appears they make their wings out of old discarded rags. Which I guess makes them look a little bit like a shoddy knockoff common Rider villain. Kind of like this guy's design, though. Okay, now we've got a copy of him, so now we got to take him out. I'm going to swap to him, because why not? And then... You don't really have anything better than 60 damage. I'll swap the Bomb Bomb. At least we get zoomies with him. Oh, that's a lot of damage I didn't want to take. Okay. Well, we don't have a lot, but, but, but we can use in flame. And I missed. That's not good. Oh, this is going to end badly for me. Okay, confused. Confused characters may use the wrong move or target the wrong character. Okay. Wrong move. That's interesting. I'm familiar targeting the wrong character or targeting yourself. 
but wrong move? I'm curious about this. Uh, now would be the time to use zoomies, I think. Might be able to take him out before losing another tape. Yeah, there we go. We got victory. Okay. We have got to find a place to heal. Like, now, before we get into another fight. Because this will go real bad for us. I need to find a place to heal. I don't know what that thing is. It looks mean. I kind of want one. But right now I can't stand to fight one. Flee! Okay, we gotta... Gotta camp. Let's heal up. Uh, tape storage. Uh, party? I have no way of recovering that tape right now. Crap. I don't have a uh, repair either. I guess all we can do is rest. This place takes double the resources that the other place did. That's interesting. This is interesting. This is the second time a dialogue box has acknowledged that I made a specific choice. I like that. Hmm. And they're acknowledging that uh, different monsters have sort of a different feel. That's cool. Ah, our broken takes have been repaired. Good, 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 good. That's what I want. Now I kind of want to see what that big angry spiky thing was. Okay, so let's look for a big angry spiky thing. It was kind of around here. But that might be because it was nighttime. Uh, there's the moth guy. There's the, the snake thing. But I want the big angry spiky thing. There's the... That guy. Don't need another snake. It looked kind of like a ferret with a spear or something like that. It looked cool, is what I'm saying, and I want one. More moths and snakes. Oh, I'm sorry, little Minecraft pack isn't going well. I'd love to help, but I don't know anything about Minecraft stuff. <laughs> really. I played it very, very basically in, like, the pre-alpha, and I played it on the 360, and that's about it. So, like, PC modding Minecraft, I, I could not help you with. Okay, I'm not seeing the guy we ran into. This this bugs me. Of course you run into the interesting things just as so you're about to die and you have to run from it. We could go back to camp, set it to nighttime and see if it pops up because it might have been like a daytime nighttime thing, I guess. I guess we'll try and do that. I think my cat wants out. Uh, we'll camp. Not actually waste the resources, but... We will pass time. Alright. I get my water bottle and my warm blankie back on my feet. Okay, so as long as we don't rest, I think think time will continue, but we don't lose the resources. We won't heal, but that's not really our issue right now. Our issue is I cannot get my blanket back on my feet. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah? So you're trying to get your, your co-worker into the, the PC version. Oh, okay, that didn't advance time. Uh, hmm. Well, we should be able to rest, and that will. I don't want to, but that's the only way to advance time, that's the only way to find that monster. Let's do it. I guess. Okay, it's nighttime. So now we at least have a chance to recreate the system by which we ran into that weird monster. 
was around here. It was down here specifically. There he is. Okay. Squirey. It's a little, like, ferret with a spear and a hat. I love the monsters in this game. Okay, we're gonna catch this guy, obviously. So we wanna smack this guy a whole bunch. I'm not sure. I think he's rock element, I think. I don't know. Let's call for help. So what do we have? We called a moth guy to come and help us. Okay. Recording failed. No, don't fail recording. Yeah, that uses the tape. That's not good. Okay. Well, I want to catch this guy no matter what. So... Just have to take a swing at this guy. Parry stance? Characters with parry stance reflect damage from the next attack. Oh. I like you. You've got some interesting moves. Yeah, it's, it's co-op. Well, it's single player, but it's you, you have to control two people at once. All right! I got him. I got the little weasel thing. All right, the common squire is often seen roaming the plains of New World, searching for opponents to battle. Despite their cute appearance, they are dedicated warriors driven by an innate desire for self-improvement. All right. Cool. I like you. All right, now let's let's just smack him about a whole bunch. So I'll use Battering Ram, and you can use Sonic Boom, and we're gonna kill this guy. Assuming anything can hit. There we go. All right. Copper Chop. It's one target inflicts resonance on glass and metal type targets. Interesting. So it looks like there's going to be like special status afflictions based on whatever you're actually fighting. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna swap him to my current guy because I kind of want to try Squirey. Then we need to pick a fight. I could have just picked a fight with that guy, but I kind of want to run something different. I haven't really done that. Let's pick a fight with this guy. Oh. Okay. There's a big cute doggle statue thing. I think I have one more recording device. Oh, I got two. I'm gonna try and grab them because that's cool. Let's let's take out Carnaviper first. Uh, you call for help. Uh, you failed to call for help, that's not good. Leech. Leech characters take damage at the end of their turn. Opponents are healed by the amount of health taken off. Okay. Okay. Let's let's start by copper chopping you. Call for help. Hopefully no one gets poisoned. Because that would be... Oh, that's bad. I'm gonna get you big lion doggle thing. Be able to smack you. Call for help again. Stop poisoning things. Failed again. This is not ideal. And I'm betting. Because you healed, that's not gonna take you out. Oh it did. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. Kaylee, you need to swap to uh use the banshee. Okay, we could fuse. That is an option, but I don't really want to do a bunch of damage to this guy. Plus, we need to record him, or at least try. Just the basic tape on him. You, uh... Actually, what I'll do is copper chop with you. You use the recording device, that way you can store up your defense. 
for your, your movement points. I've heard nobody saves the world is a good game. Okay, we got 39% chance. Catch. Just put up a plant wall. 56% chance. Boom! We got a bootleg dandelion. Dandelions are loyal defensive guardians. They are typically found standing in the entrances of important caves of grassy plains of the new world. If you find one with no cave nearby, it may be a hint that something is hidden. Interesting. Okay, so you have smack and defend. Not great, but we'll... Okay, tape storage. When your party's full, tapes are recorded, put in a special storage compartment in your backpack. These can be accessed and moved to and from when you're at a campfire or the cafe. It's kind of annoying that you don't get to pick whether or not you want to keep it or something, but I guess because the game doesn't end the fight when you catch something, because you're just making a copy of it, I guess it makes sense. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of it, but I guess that makes sense. Brought a battering ram, that does a fair bit of damage. Accuracy's down. So there might be something hidden around here. Might be worth taking a look. Okay, so we got dodge. Spring heal got bite, so that'll heal. That's pretty powerful. Wheat and wood. Hey. Uh oh. Oh no, we're fighting a cult. At what are you supposed to be? Skell Evangelist. Okay. Intrigued. I kind of dig that. Let's start a fusion then. Let's let's see what a, a moth and some kind of weird weasel thing become when they fuse together. <laughs> it becomes a bizarre night moth weasel thing with goggles. Interesting. I really want to try Nobody Saves the World. I've heard it's good. I've not really seen much about it. I just know it by name. And then apparently it's good. That's half your health and your melee's down. Sharp point to a metal type attack penetrates earth type target. Like a shovel, lowering its defense. Okay. Let's use another one of those copper chops. Bop. I kind of like that ghost thing. This game has some pretty cool monster designs, not gonna lie. So we got air wall, sacrifice 20% HP to create a wall that will absorb three hits for three turns. Interesting. That's a pretty good defensive move. Heretics control Harbor Town. Beware of false salvation. So you're one of those weirdo evangelical people. Okay. Well, we know that there's supposed to be a secret around here because there was that lion thing. And I see that there's a spot for this rock to go. Let's plop it down. Ah ha 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 ha! I think we might have to go heal before we go take on a dungeon. Okay, let's do it. I, I want to go heal and we'll go do the dungeon. Also, there's a rock up there. That might be important too. I've already got... Ooh, you're a different guy, though. You're running away. Okay, so there's a guy that runs away. And if he runs away, he disappears, so you want to fight him. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that until too late. But moving forward, if someone runs away, chase him. Hmm. What are your general thoughts on uh, Nobody Saves the World? I'm curious about it. Okay, so even though she was weak, she was very dangerous. Whoever wounded her must have been absolutely savage. Yeah, probably. That weird freaky glitch ghost lady, she was mean. But our broken tape's been repaired. I kind of want to give you that doggle. I kind of also want to upgrade my sheepy. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, yeah, I don't want to actually go to camp, but I want to go through my storage. Dandelion, we're going to swap you. Uh, 
Hold on. Cape store. Uh, do I have to go to party then? Oh. Okay. Uh. Put in storage. I don't like this system. So you have to go to your party, dismiss a party member, then go to your storage to add one to your... That... That feels like too many clicks to me, you know? This is very early... That was a problem very early Pokemon had as well. That's that's kind of why when they made it so you could just go to your thing, your, your box, and then select all the things, say, I want this, or I want it to go in and out, you know? That was so much better. <laughs> that, was, that was a thing they needed to basically have from the start, and they just didn't. Uh, so leveling is, is a bit of an issue with certain areas requiring certain levels and stuff. Yeah, that level balance is always a tricky thing to try and manage, especially if you're trying to get your players into certain specific areas at certain times. That lady is still just lying there. Is she dead? She might be dead. Okay, well, whatever. I'm going into the dungeon. Secret dungeon! Hopefully we don't die. But we might. Okay, so we got some bioluminescent mushrooms. We got a little secret path over here. Hello. Okay. Now, is that water or dirt? Okay, it looks like dirt. Okay, so we got boxes and buttons. Alright. Grab a box, plop it on the button. Easy enough. I said pick up box. There we go. Eh. Then plop that there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Solo two player experiences. That's how you do. Ah. Interesting. I don't have many tapes though. I have one tape. How many plastics do I have? 13. I could only buy one tape. Crap. We're gonna have to like find something super good if we want to catch a monster. So let's let's just keep an eye out for boxes, trying to avoid getting into fights. Oh my god, we're about to get into a fight. I just wanna put a box on the button. That's it. Ah! Okay. It's a faucet! Okay. Uh, smack. Let's smack the faucet thing. You also get smacked because you're a low level thing. I, I think the idea here is that you probably want to have your new monsters in backup. Just so that they, they gain attacks, because when they start out, they're very basic. They're not direct copies of the exact one you caught, I guess. Uh, the water left over from water type attacks absorb into the roots of plant, healing them. Hmm. Okay. Creatures with healing leaf regain same health at the start of each turn. Cool! I am almost out of cola. Plant type attacks sap and leech the strength of water types. So this is actually real bad for you. And real hilarious for me with my big lion plant thing. Got victory. Got a little bit of experience. Dandelion leveled up and got Elemental Wall. Sacrifice 20% HP for your wall. Yep, we've read that one before. Useful defensive move. Okay. I want to drop. No, I. Uh, ah! Terracuka. Because <laughs> it's a chef terracotta dogu. <laughs> That's good. I like the puns. This game is very silly. And also kind of freaky with some of its stuff. Ow. Okay, I'm taking damage I don't want to take. So, we're just gonna keep wearing down. Actually, what we should be doing is focusing on the other one. Because the water one can at least heal our grass character. 
Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Ah, and because I'm metal, I smash your earth defense. I see. Okay. You guys are actually kind of screwed, aren't you? Okay, burn characters take damage to the end of their turn. Fair enough. Plant types carry seeds that are implanted in earth type to drain energy. That is... That's quite logical, but also makes these, like, elemental matchups very complex. I kind of dig it. No, don't hit that guy. Hit the other guy so he heals. I need to heal my character, though. Okay. Uh, please don't hit my... A character with a bomb will blow up at the end of their next turn if it's not passed on by a melee attack. So basically, smack the enemy with a melee, and then they'll get taken out by the bomb. I think. Okay. Yeah, so bomb basically makes the game hot potato. In RPG form. I kind of love that. That's neat. Okay, parry stance. Flex first melee attack received. That's super useful. Trick. Gives small random debuff. Okay. Those are both really useful attacks. Okay. So I need to drop box. There we go. I don't like that Y is, is the interact button. I feel like it should be A, and A is dash, which feels wrong to me. Okay, I need to heal you up. There we go. Okay, so there's another Terracuka. We already fought him. Not a hard fight with our current party, but not what we're currently going after. What's this? Ah ha ha! Open up a door. Whee! Yep. Alright, so what's in here? Okay, there's a locked chest. Two Terracookas. Uh, that looks like it for now. Ah, there's a green button, which means it should turn on once we step on it. Without requiring constant pressure. That seems to be the red switches. Because visual design is important. I am really digging this game. This is fun. I love the style. I love the aesthetic. The themes are pretty cool. Got weirdly kind of dark with that weird archangel lady. I'm... I'm digging this. This this is might be one of those games I play a lot of my own time. Okay, we got... So that'll unlock that chest. I feel like there's something weird with this spot, but I don't think we have anything to interact with it. So I'm just gonna... Uh-oh. Wing loom. So the chest had a trap monster. I'm gonna try parry stance. I feel like that's what we're gonna do there. Uh, and I don't know what this guy's gonna do, so let's throw up elemental wall. We'll just play this super defensive and see what he can do. So you've got an air wall. Okay, so we both have an elemental wall up. Parry stance. And... I guess we'll just send out a basic attack. I'm not sure if this is... That's not a melee attack. Okay. Can't use copper chops, so we'll smack you. I don't think defense is going to work on this guy, because he seems to be using... Apparently now he's going to do that. Okay. Ooh, grounded. Plant type attacks ground the electricity of lightning type targets. So you're a lightning type. Okay. Reducing the scope of their attacks. Attacks from characters with unit target that normally take a whole team only to affect a single target. The attacks are normally single target have reduced accuracy. What? Attacks from characters with unit target that normally target a whole team, only go after... Effectively, it means that if you get hit by this, you have a lightning rod effect that draws entire team attacks. And attacks that normally target single have reduced actors. Okay, I see. That is phrased kind of complicated, but I get it. Uh, I'm going to play defense here, because I don't want to kill this guy. I kind of want to catch him. 
Metal conducts electricity, increasing the scope and range of lightning attacks. Attacks from characters with multi-target attack the whole- Oh god, that's not good. <laughs> that basically means- Okay, air type can uproot plant types. This game is really bloody complicated. <laughs> I, I kind of appreciate this, but this is going to take some, like, Mensa grade studying of how elements, like, passively affect each other because every element seems to have, like, some kind of passive debuff for interacting with a different element. I love it, but it might be a tad overcomplicated. <laughs> okay, characters with AP drain get one fewer AP drain. Oh, that's not good. Ah, but we get melee defense up, so that's good. Okay. I'm gonna copper chop you and defend. And then I think this turn, I should be able to, should be in the operative term here, capture you based on how little health you have. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. <laughs> so I kind of want to catch this guy. But it doesn't look great. Oh no, that reduced our chance because we got hit. Oh, we're not doing any damage to him. Recording failed. Crap, and that was our last tape. Shoot! Alright, well, we tried. Characters with Berserk only use damaging moves. Okay. So now we're on autopilot. <laughs> the dungeon you're in is only melee crits, 50%, and exploding corpses. That sounds like a fun time. <laughs> and also really bloody dangerous. Alright, we got a machine part for a old ticket machine. Compliment, lowers the target's range defense. A ceramic tape, which has higher efficiency with earth type so it's it's um an earth element pokeball basically that's cool i would have liked to get that lightning guy but i guess that's cool uh well that bugs me <laughs> hey there's a little snake guys interesting all right well i think there's a completely different route to this area we didn't explore over in this direction. Oh, was the old machine part for this? Because this looks like it's a ticket taker. Traffic crab, question mark? Ah, this traffic crab knows us. Except it, it doesn't have a traffic cone on its head. It's got a wizard hat. <laughs> That's cute. What? This traffic crab did, in fact, just speak. It's Magicrab, indentured servant to the infinite Merlin. Long may their trains run on time. <laughs> because Merlin and Merline, I get it, because it's a train station. That's funny. To dwell amongst their hallowed halls is a privilege too grand for me to convey to serve their passengers is the least I can do. Which is to say, you tell me where you need to go, I'll get the train at platform A ready. Many of the Merlion's stops are currently accessible. They will be available. So this is kind of a fast travel system, even though there's already a fast travel system? I don't understand that, but okay. Fast travel can be activated from the map anytime. At first, you'll only be able to travel back to the Grand Foam Cafe. However, each station will add new destinations. Yeah, but we could already do that. I... I guess these also double as locations to travel to, but we need to open them up. Uh, I want to travel. Uh, take me to the Gramico Phone Cafe. Because I want to buy myself some new tapes, because I'm bitter I didn't get to get that one. Uh, basic tape, 10. I only have one. Well, that sucks. Plenty of wheat. Can't do much with it, but I got plenty of it. Uh, let's rest. Take a quick break, heal up. Rest. Hmm. 
Time always marches on and you can't turn back the clock or change your mistakes, so don't dwell on the past. This seems like this character has a lot more going on for her than anything. But alright. Alright, well our team is healed up a little. I assume, even though it didn't give us a notification, yeah, we seem to be healed up, that's good. Uh But, like, yeah, I can just, cr I didn't need to talk to a crab or anything. I don't understand. What is your deal, crab? Okay. So, I want to leave this place. Well, platform B is for interdimensional travel. But all departures through Platform B have been cancelled for the next 642 years. Hmm. What about you being Magic Crab? Okay, he's not native to this place. Hmm. Nothing. Just wanted to know what your whole deal was. That sounds like a, a very complicated system in Nobody Saves the World. Ah! We need to use the machine part, and we now have a train ticket with Glow Center. Glow Sester. Printed on with faded ink. And we need that to open up that door. Ha 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 ha. Maybe this will lead somewhere interesting. Okay, so we remove that from inventory. We open the big fancy door. And behind it is what exactly? It's another big spooky thing. Oh god! We have another big spooky thing. Okay. It looks like we're just gonna have to try and take a swing at this weird creepy boss thing of a bob like last time. Or maybe there's just a train. One of those two things. One of those two things is going on. Ah! That looks like an old thing from, like, DOS that didn't have, like, compatibility mode or something on it. Oh, this thing is spooky. Archangel Papa Talks. Kind of puppet master it looks like okay uh we don't have a fusion so that's not good all right let's try parry stance and you smack oh we can target his little this guy looks like he's animated with claymation like stop motion animation that's interesting okay so we can smack effigies and presumably that will have some benefit. I think we oh, that's bad. Okay, so those are basically voodoo dolls, and if we smack them, we take damage ourselves. I see. That's bad. Okay. Hmm. How do we handle this problem? There is a light on one of the effigies. What does that mean? Let's try targeting that one specifically. Aha! So that's how we do it. Okay. Basically, the light tells you you're going to swap places with it. I got you. Although you're about to have all the AP next turn, which means you're going to use your really big scary move, aren't you? Okay, uh, you are going to swap with Banshee. We're gonna try and make this work. Uh, I want to... This is the final move where he's gonna do something scary. So let's throw parry stance on. And let's throw up an elemental wall. Because he's got full power, which means he's gonna do something scary. What are you gonna do exactly? Minus 150 health. 
Oh, that was bad. Okay, we don't want to get hit by that again if we can help it. Okay, 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 okay. Uh... I don't really have a plan here. Let's hope something works here. Uh, let's throw out a spit. And let's throw out a battering ram. I think we may very well get destroyed by this guy. Ah, you got parried, fool! Even though my monster was already dead. I'm not sure how that works, but sure. Okay, Sonic Boom. That's gonna hit all the enemies. We don't want to use that. Because that will definitely hit us. Uh, let's just spit, I guess, is right now our best plan. And Battering Ram. Status blocked. This is a rather grim fight. Okay. We can fuse. We don't have a ton of health, though. Right now, I don't think the monster we've got on us is going to be all that helpful. Suggestion. Rewind on Kaylee, because our sheep is going to be super useful. And maybe take the damage on our Siren character, the old one too. Oh. Okay, yeah, saw that coming. But that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. I'm about to die. That's less fine. Okay. Uh, right. Right. What's our best move here? I think right now, swapping to our Mothman is probably our best move. You've got... Alright, I think it's time to just fuse. Let's go. Oh my god, it's adorable. <laughs> Alright. Battering ram on FG1. Use feedback. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Don't care for the AP steal. But... Bop. Bit more damage. Okay. Swap places. I'm gonna hit you again. I don't know how long we can hold the fusion for. And you've got a lot of moves, which is concerning. And our speed is down. I think we're gonna. I don't have any way of healing. That's not good. Well, just gonna have to keep going for it then. Hope for the best. This is gonna be... Oh, that's not good. I think we've lost this fight. I think we have very much lost this fight. Although, if you miss an attack, then we're kind of even, I guess. This is going to be close. This is going to be very, very close and also bad. Well, you missed anyway, but now you've got full health. I think we're gonna lose! Or not. <laughs> That's how we do! <laughs> Holy crap, that was scary. But we got Leech on Dandelion, which is good, because I want that food. Fused material smells strongly of rotten eggs, but rangers seem to regard it as valuable. Upgrape. Curious bunch of upside-down grapes used to grow from seeds planted backwards day. Eating a bunch instantly upgrades a tape by one star. Interesting. I'm, I'm still not exactly sure how those stars work, but interesting. Stamina increased by 17%. Can now glide for 3.5 seconds. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. To the west, your wings must fly. to the place only I have known. The rest is too quiet to make out. Hmm. Interesting. Very, 
Very interesting. I did kill your dolls. They were stupid and ugly and creepy. And you cheat. And that guy just absorbed that weird, creepy archangel. Th That's suspicious. Interesting. There's a lot more going on to this game. Hmm. Phew. So now someone's absorbing the archangels. Interesting. But now we need to go west in order to at least figure out how to get out of this place. I am thoroughly interested in this game. But I think we're gonna have to call that here for now because I don't want to spoil too much of this game. It did just come out like yesterday. But I gotta admit, I'm kind of invested in this game. I I think it's quite good. Uh, I, I'm, I think it's a little overly complicated with its elemental mixes. But the monster designs are cool. The fusion concept, very, very cool. Um, the world's interesting. It's got a fun aesthetic. I'm digging this. I, I could see myself playing a lot more of this in, in my downtime. In fact, I probably will play a lot more of this when I've done this. Because uh, i got to grab something to eat and do some editing. Um, I will be back in a couple hours, though. Probably in about three or four hours to probably finish off Robotrek. Because I've been meaning to do that. Um, but either way, I hope you enjoyed this look into Cassette Beasts, this very strange, very interesting creature collector that just got on sale a couple days ago. And so far, yeah, I'd recommend it. It's pretty interesting, and I am really intrigued as to see as to where this goes. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, follow the stream until we go live. We'll try and stream as often as possible. Like I said, probably going to be back in about three or four hours uh, with Robotrex. Look forward to that. You might want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff. I should have a new review up tomorrow. I've got it done. It's uploaded and everything, but I want to do a sector third, like, last minute check just to make sure audio levels and everything look okay. Because I'm, I'm very, very worried about putting something up where the audio is just too loud in some place or something. Like, I, I get very stressed about that. So I, I tend to do three or four last checks before I put it live. So it'll probably be up tomorrow. So look forward to that. Uh, assuming there's no issues and I don't have to like re-export it for audio or anything. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is look at some interesting creature collectors on Steam while getting an excuse to mess around my Steam Deck a bit more. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, Internet. <laughs>